What's up guys, Visual Maximus, and welcome to Visual Mondays episode number one. And in this series, I personally just talk about things that have happened in the comic book industry, etc. that really are sort of worth talking about, and I can just give my two cents, and I can just sit here and casually talk for for more than 10 minutes or so, because my videos last face, they're like a minute at most. It's not me giving my my biggest thoughts let's just say on that topic and that's it but close i won't probably see that topic again unless i have to talk about it in another video where you'll get another one minute in these i can talk about it quite a bit so this is why i'm starting up this new series so if you have any anything you want me to talk about just let me know in the comment section below just comment it and i'll talk about it glad gladly so uh, let's get straight into it so Batman of the Future pack for Lego Batman 3. Now this is great, but the only thing is, and uh, sorry for US fans and fans that are not from Europe as a whole, this is only available in Europe. So yes, I can, if I wanted to get Lego Batman 3, I can get it. Actually, in fact, I heard that this was going to be Lego Justice League, but DC got cold feet because, you know, Justice League isn't known anymore. Well, it's known to the, the fans, let's just say, but the generation of today does not know Just League, and that's a harsh reality. Now, something that you need to know is the Avengers, before the movie was released, nobody knew it either, but what did Marvel start doing that DC's not doing? When they announced that they're going to make an Avengers movie, they started to promote the Avengers a hell of a lot. I mean, there were toys everywhere for the Avengers. So, this brand, this unique brand, and... It, it's unique in the sense that it's all the superheroes together, and that applies to kids, so DC could if they wanted to, they could get the bow out for this really fast and quick. But they're not, and it's Batman of the Future. Well, ba Lego Batman 3, sorry. So, no, I don't want to get this because of that sole reason. I think Armin from Comic Book Cast 2 had a similar sort of description that he didn't want, didn't want to get the game or wasn't going to get the game because it's not a Just League movie, Just League game, sorry. It's more for a Batman 200 game now that DC got cold feet. So, Avengers 2 and Avengers 2 trailer. Uh, this is great news. So, uh, one one night, I believe, like a, a few nights ago, basically, I was bored as hell. First, I like, got that pops up from Cinema Blend and comicbookmovie.com at the same time. Is Avengers 2 trailer coming and literally I was stoked because I've been waiting for this trailer for so long. I mean there's literally been nothing revealed for this trailer. I think that's really good on Marvel's part because I thought we'd get leaked, I really did from uh, Comic Con. Only Marvel apparently somebody did somebody did leak it a website or few websites in fact and all of their websites got taken down. Now you have the few websites that's just trolling, it's really annoying, like K Drum Stars. I thought that would be a website that would take off. Honestly it hasn't. It's a very troll worthy website. It's got the same article saying Avengers 2 trailer leaked with no links whatsoever. Just updates it all the time just for newer people to get on board and the comments are hilarious on the newer things. You have people raging, etc. But it's it's not right and uh, therefore I think there's no need for it. Now Avengers three but Avengers 3 right so Avengers 3 the latest rumor is that Avengers 3 will be will be split into two movies now John Campion from AMC literally had a rant slash argument with I believe Kristen's his name from uh, Schmo's Nose Schmo's Nose the Kristen basically he was saying that his argument is that they could if they wanted to make this a a split into two movies sort of movie they could do it and if they have this had this plan sorted out from the start or from like after Avengers 1 then yeah they can do this and it's it's a big possibility now John's John's sort of argument I didn't understand it for the main part he was just saying that they can't do it I've seen a few other arguments for it can't be done but some some are saying that you actually has to be legalized you have to tell the actors but this is Marvel movies, literally. We know nothing, nothing in what goes on behind the scenes. I mean, 
Honestly, I think the, the the actors probably know if it's if it's a split movie, they probably know. If it's split, I, I I'm all for it. I'm all for the movie not being split. I'm all for the movie being split as well. Now, if it's split, that will give me a much better sort of sort of finishing touch. If it's the last sort of movie, now it's it doesn't have to also be the last movie. You have to remember that this is Thanos that's going to apparently appear in Avengers. Now, Thanos is a catastrophic enemy, he's one of the biggest enemies in the Marvel Universe and that the Marvel Universe has to offer. He's an enemy like Galactus basically, had Galactus been good in Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer and all this build up, you don't want to send it down the drain. I think what Marvel's plan is in Avengers 3 is to get Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, supposedly if they have Black Panther by then, Miss Marvel if they have her by then, all the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, if they have Inhumans by then, etc. Then basically, their big plan is that they want they want uh, everyone there, and even the Defenders, Agents of Shield, etc. You get the bigger picture. They want everyone there to accumulate, and who knows? They could have they could have the Spider-Man movie rise by them back because we all know that Sony's going through massive financial trouble as of now, and the Spider-Man movies are plummeting into hell. So. Yeah, we'll just have to see, time will only tell, and that is a five year wait. So, going on to uh, expose Thor, uh, which is the next topic. Now, Thor, we know that Thor's becoming a uh, woman in, well, Thor's not becoming a woman, Thor's l becoming unworthy, and a woman's becoming Thor. Now, I've just seen a few solicitations, slash previews, slash pictures, basically, of Thor is one, the female Thor that's coming out in two days from this day, this is Monday. So, the, the, the previews and solicitations show that Thor actually becomes, well, he's been on the moon for weeks apparently, and he can't pick it up. It was actually what Nick Fury said to him that made him unworthy. Now, whatever the hell he said to him, I'm really hoping to know when, when we'll find out. It's hard to tell, it really is. I'm saying somewhere between, um... I suppose a good enough time would be issue 10, sort of dragging it on from then it would be just too much of a way and, and it just I'd get bored but honestly I really want to know how this came to be. So the markings for the Mjolnir still read, if he be so worthy shall possess the power of Thor, so it's not changed at all. You think it would change, but I think what they're going for here is, Marvel do know that they had this inscription in their own movie. So it'd be, it'd be stupid if you went out and changed the inscription on Mjolnir. I think what they're gonna do is Mjolnir will be picked up by a, by a girl and to Odin, etc. Shock, Loki, everyone's shock. A woman will be holding the hammer. And I think that'll be an interesting take. We'll just have to see. Once again, only time will tell. So Deadpool writing. Now Deadpool the movie got announced last week. We were all so happy i mean it's it's such great news i'm still sort of stoked about this news but yeah it got announced last week and ever since everyone's been sort of pondering the question what is the rain going to be for this movie what is the rain going to be i'm going to say the rain is going to be a pg thing and i think that's a harsh reality for the deadpool movie that it's getting made and that's how, how we have to look at it if it wasn't if it if it was going to be r rated it would never get made and i think I think what they should do is what a lot of people are saying, bleep out swear words and have Deadpool break the fourth wall and address this sort of problem for him. So guys, that wraps up all of Visual Maxim well, Visual Maximus talks on Monday, but short for Visual Mondays. So like the video, share your comments and thoughts and let me know what you guys want what you guys want me to talk about next episode that will be coming next Monday, of course. Uh, anything will be acceptable given the fact that it's in comics, it's in comic movies, it's in comic book games, etc. So, yeah, like I said, like the video, subscribe if you need, let me know, let me know your thoughts and opinions, share the, share the video, and guys, 